Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to say, obviously with everything going on in the world at the moment, which is obviously extremely sad and it's ridiculous that this type of thing is still having to happen in 2020, um, I have obviously made donations myself and I'm going to put the links to some petitions and places that you could donate in the description box. I know obviously I don't have the biggest following, but every kind of, every little bit of awareness counts. So I'll leave all of those in the description box below and you can go have a look at them. She's a Mona Lisa. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little glow up. I'm going to start off this little video by using my Revolution Face Off Pink Sparkle Peel Glitter Face Mask. Ooh, that's kind of gross. I'm just going to do this across my nose because I was thinking, like, I need to tint my eyelashes as well. So I'll put this on my nose, tint my eyelashes, and then by the time they're all done, I can take them both off at the same time. I got this Revolution brush from beauty bear i think it was and it has it's a face mask brush that so has like the little rubber bit at the end so you can apply it and it doesn't like all get in the bristles because i used to use like a normal makeup brush and all of the face masks got all in the bristles and it was kind of disgusting so thought i'd get this one although to apply on the nose it is a lot easier to use the bristle ends so i'm gonna do that also i'm not really sure if this is meant to happen but when i put it on my nose like it literally stings my eyes i just love peel masks i just love peeling them off like the satisfaction of peeling something off your face i'm sorry but Right, so let's take my eyelashes. So I'm going to use the Ilia um, Lash Tint in black. I'm only going to do my bottom eyelashes because when I do my top ones, like, they're just not curly enough to do and it just doesn't make a difference. So I'm not going to waste product on them. I really want to re-laminate my eyebrows, but I'm kind of trying to hold back because I did them at, like, the very beginning of April. I think it might have been the first of April and they went so well. Like, I did a video on them. I don't know if you've seen it. And they kind of, like, started dropping and I just wanted them to be back, like, laminated and I was like, oh, for God's sake. So I jumped into it a little bit faster because I know you're meant to Wait, wait like four to six weeks or something in between laminating them and i did them like oh when was it maybe like the 20th of april or something so it's only been like three weeks and then my eyebrows started falling out and it was just not cool so yeah if you're going to laminate your brows actually do wait the allotted amount of time because also i didn't nutritionalize them i've bought castor oil since then to put on my brows so whenever i remember i put them on that on before i go to sleep so i think they're all right now they've stopped falling out but I'm just going to wait a bit, probably like another month, just when they've started like properly getting better. This is the activating gel I'm just popping on and I, I'm assuming like it puts a little layer. Maybe I will do the top ones. And you are meant to put petroleum jelly around the edges but I find I just get it on my eyelashes so there's not even any point. I also can't believe it's June, it's literally been the nicest weather for the last like month on and off. And now we've come into June and it's like 14 degrees outside and it's raining. It literally rained yesterday. I was like, like we're allowed out to see friends now, but it's not even like I'm going to go out because it's like 14 degrees outside and I'm not looking to freeze to death while I'm sitting in the park. Thank you. I wish this is what my lashes look like. I don't know if you can even see on camera. I'm trying to zoom you in. Oh my God, I got a new camera also. Oh, this zoomed in so slow. I wish my eyelashes look like this. So I keep this on for a maximum of eight minutes. Obviously, I'm going to keep it on for eight minutes. And then you remove it and then put the at the developer gel on and it turns it black which is i think is so clever can we just talk about this for a second i finally got it after it being out of stock for about two months anyway i finally got it in the post used it yesterday i'm not really sure what it's meant to do to be honest like what is the hype please someone tell me because i know it's meant for like it's like an exfoliating thing but i put it on and i didn't really see that much of a difference and like I thought that you were meant to like peel it off and then I was so annoyed when it was like wash it off and I was like oh I thought a peeling solution meant that you actually peel it off like I was like I'm gonna do this one in a minute. I'm also just trying to see if my eyebrows need tinting but I don't really think they do. Maybe, I'm, maybe I will do them. So I've got two different eyebrow dyes. I use the Ilea one. This is really strong and like because I wear fake tan it goes really green. I'm gonna just put that one back in the drawer. I'm gonna use this one because my eyebrows aren't really like that light at the moment and this is the colour sport one in dark brown and it's just it doesn't stick to the skin so it doesn't make my eyebrows as green. I'm just gonna apply this with like a little spoolie brush. The thing about brow dye is that when you get it on your desk, it literally stains the desk so bad. Not gonna lie, I don't really know how long it's gonna it's been on, but I'm gonna go in with a little um wet cotton pad now. I've really tried to stop doing this with my eyelashes because I know it's just making them all fall out. And I put mascara on um, for the other day, like properly. That's not going. On, that wasn't going under fake eyelashes for the first time in like uh, two months. And my eyelashes have actually grown because I haven't been wearing mascara and pulling it off in the evenings. So I think it's inspired me to not pull my eyelashes as much as I did before. God, it does kind of sting a little bit. Like I haven't even got it in my eye. Like it's just the fumes. Oh God, I need to take my eyebrow dye off. Oh god. Oh god. 
Obviously, I spoke about it briefly at the beginning of the video, but with everything that's going on in the world right now, with, like, all of Black Lives Matter, like, with everything that happened to George Floyd, like, it genuinely does kind of open up your eyes into, like, how corrupt the whole world is. Like, I just don't understand how it's 2020 and things like this are still happening because people, just because of the colour of their skin, are getting treated any differently by, like, law enforcement, by people in the street, by anyone like literally anyone now obviously all of this has happened there kind of does need to be a change and like obviously it's really good for like the protests and everything that are going on if you are going to go to a protest obviously stay safe like wear a mask because we are in a pandemic also i need to get like a nice charcoal mask that i use on my nose oh my god that was just why didn't i do my whole face that was just so satisfying right my brows are all done for my makeup look today that i'm gonna do in a bit i bought these new bases the other day from p louise like i'm so excited by them look how nice those colors are i already had the blue and the orange ones but i wanted these pastel ones because i was like i just love using pastels on my eyes at the moment and so i thought what better way because i can use these for liner i can use them for eyeshadow i can use them for cut creases i can use them on my lips i can use them in my eyebrows like they're easy that not easier but like they're better than just kind of having an eyeshadow so I'm so excited to use them. I'm going to use them in my look today. Moving into makeup, which is obviously my favourite part of the video. So I'm going to start off by using my Brow Precise Fibre Filler, which is um, by Maybelline. And this is basically just like a really good filler for your eyebrows. It like adds little fibres in, so it makes your, gives like the illusion of thicker brows. Oh, I'm going to try this one out, actually. I got a little like sample thing my mum gave me. It's a Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defence thing. And you basically just pop a little bit onto your hand. So the pea size amounts, I've got that much. And then blend it into your face. Oh my gosh. And then, should we try our new foundation today? Should we use the Benefit Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation? Mine's in the shade 4. I wonder if it's my... Oh my gosh, that really is a good match. I'm going to use this Real Sweet Needs Contour Brush, which I used to use for buffing and foundation. Because when it comes to, like, stick foundations, I find it a lot easier to buff in with a brush. Oh my god, it smells like lavender. You never really want like a too strong scent with a foundation. Like this one's quite nice and like subtle, which I don't mind. Put a little bit of extra on my scar. <laughs> Should I do a quick story time about how I got that scar? So um, I was in Iron Napa last year with my friends. Our flight was at something like six in the morning. So we went and stayed at my friend's house the night before and then her mum drove us all to the airport like really early in the morning. So none of us really got any sleep. So like automatically extremely tired. Got to Napa probably about one o'clock in the afternoon, like up to our little, got like an Airbnb villa thing. We got there, we were literally drinking from one in the afternoon. And then we went out to the strip, obviously at night. So that's like, what, like 12 hours of drinking. Am I looking a bit ghostly? But yeah, obviously after like 12 hours of drinking, it just was never gonna end well for me really, was it? We got to the strip, we were out drinking in the bars, like. I did this, I remember, like the last thing I remember is doing this Sambuca shot at one of the bars and like I was just walking through the crowd like like literally about to hell, it was quite disgusting. And then um, I sat on one of the high chair, like the high stalls, like maybe one of like the food places on the strip. All of a sudden, like, I don't remember this, I've just been told this by multiple people who saw the, the monstrosity, that was me falling head first into the pavement <laughs> and cutting up my whole face. I had banged my head here, banged my cheek here, grazed my head here. It just didn't end well, really. Yeah, I woke up the next morning and for the rest of the holiday, my whole face was like swollen up. So I literally did not get any nice pictures on that holiday. Sorry, moving on. I'm just going to go to the, I'm just going to use the Morphe concealer. This is the new purchase of mine and honestly, I literally can't express to you how, how good it is. It's in the shade C2.25. Also, I guessed my shade online and I'm not really sure how I did that. Oh yeah, and then so I woke up the next morning and I stayed at our friend's apartment thing that was closer to the strip, so, because they took me back there before, like, they carried on their night out. And then I woke up the next morning and was like, what the hell, where am I? And then got up, left, and then got the taxi there, but my, I didn't have the address for the place, I only knew, like, the, the little town in Cyprus that we were, because we weren't, like, really near the strip. We were literally wandering around this little, um, town in Cyprus for a good two hours <laughs> on my own in the boiling hot heat on the second day that we were there and then when i finally found the villa um i was locked out so i had to go to sleep on a lilo in the pool 
and I don't really know how I didn't burn to be honest, I didn't have any, any sun cream on and it was like 35 degree heat and I didn't burn. So thank you so much to my skin for not letting me down in that situation. Considering I already had a huge graze on my face and my face was literally swollen to the max. Like my eye bag literally was like a puffy mess. Let's go in with some cream bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Cryolin like foundation stick. I've just got like a, a deeper color than I would normally use. And this is in shade tan five. I'm just gonna apply this with my Real Techniques concealer brush. I haven't yet seen how like contour blends out on this foundation as well so that'll be nice and interesting I'm gonna use beauty blender i've i switched so much between using beauty blenders and uh, brushes for blending out my cream contour because like i never know which one like i'll use a beauty blender and then i'll be like oh my god this is so good i'll use it for a few times so i'll go back to a brush i feel like i wish i could just have both the benefits of them in it because like this one obviously doesn't drag the product anywhere because i'm just dabbing it the product the brush can slightly drag the product but the brush, I think, blends it out better. So next up, I'm going to powder my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I never really used to powder my face, but I've kind of realised the importance of it recently. I think because I realised that I could, I like a dewy finish, but I can make myself dewy afterwards. And I think this is quite important for setting your uh, makeup in, in place, especially before putting like a powder bronzer on. If you're going to put, I'm going to put Hoola on now. But if you're going to put like a powder bronzer on... It, they always sit a lot easier over like powder rather than over liquid because it can cling especially if you put a foundation concealer and liquid bronzer on your face next up i've been loving using blusher lately which is so unlike me but i'm going to be using the same one i used in my last video which was just this one i got in a birch box so i'm going to take this um zoeva fine liner brush it's just like a little bent one um and start off with the pink on like the inner corner kind of i'm going to probably speed this up and um silence it and put music over it because i can't speak while i'm doing this Hi. Can I see a slice of pizza? No, I can't eat it. That's right. You lot being cruel. Can I see? It? It tracks your face. Oh, do you know? You yeah. put this bit in, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the visit. Can you guys know? Yeah, nice and hot. How I like it. I'm going to use to like trace out the purple the Zoeva wing liner brush because it's like a really thin brush and I can do like a good wing with it. Just going to blend it out, or well, not blend it out, but like blend them together. Oh, I do really like that. I'm going to put some like white or black line around it though because otherwise it's a little bit like light. You can't really, it's not really bold enough. My next mission is to find some pink and purple pastel eyeshadows that suit the same colour so I can uh, set them in place. So I found this um, ooh, Beauty Bay uh, Bright Mattes palette and I've got a couple of colours in here. I'm going to use the lightest purple one which is this one and then the lightest pink one which is that. I think that will do. It's not going to make a huge difference in the colour so I'll just pat them on just to set them in place. I'm going to use the uh, Zoeva 237 Detail Shade Brush. Okay, I'm back and I finished both the eyes. Um, I just ended up like putting a black thing around it so it didn't look as kind of like faded into my eyes. Like I wanted you to be able to see that there's a line. And next up I'm going to put on some lashes. I'm going to use my Ardell um, like Foam Mink Wispies. I used to absolutely swear by Wispies and then I kind of stopped wearing them because they were a little bit plasticky and they bought out the faux mink ones and I was like, oh boy, come with me. Look how nice they are. Like they're natural but they're also like, you can also wear them with bigger eye looks as well which I just think is like so essential for a pair of eyelashes. Now obviously we have our big ones and we have our natural ones but then there's ones in the middle that you want to be able to wear for like both occasions and these are them. And also they last a really long time as well. Like I put mascara on before them so I'm not putting it on after and like ruining the lash. But they last so long that they don't fall apart or anything. I've had these ones. I'm on the first pair and I've had them for probably two months now. The reason why I wouldn't wear lashes that are too full for this look is because then it would cover the whole look up. And you kind of just look like you had quite like dense eyelids. That is not the right phrase. <laughs> that is not the right word to use. I have no idea. But like this kind of keeps the eyes like more open. 
because obviously when you have no lashes on you can see the whole eye look but if you were to add really full lashes you'd cover up the whole eye look because it's more based on the lid rather than going up into the crease for my bottom lash line i'm just gonna add a load of mascara just to like thicken it up but not add any color because i want all of the kind of direction to be on the top i'm gonna go with goddess of love by i heart revolution god damn are you seeing that less is more people less is more she says as she throws the whole box of highlighter onto her nose and now for the lips i'm gonna use my favorite at the moment which is the jeffree star liquid lipstick in the shade celebrity skin i'm gonna start by lining the lips with my body bodyography heather berry lip pencil now i've done that i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on well not really this little it's all over the lips really My lip combos at the moment like I get a bit out of hand like I'm using like four products on one lip on one lip look I'm gonna use this is the NYX um lipstick in the shade snow cap and it's just like a lighter one and it stops them from the lipstick from being so matte and then finally my Revlon Kiss, Kiss Plumping lip cream oh I just realized that the look matches my top so guys that is everything for today I've just kind of got like myself a little pastel pink scrunchie to go with the kind of whole pastel vibes. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching. I upload a video every Sunday, <clears throat> every Sunday at 11 a.m. Um, well, that's what I aim for anyway, but I've been doing okay for the last couple of weeks. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go click the links in the description box below to go support um, everything to do with Black Lives Matter and George Floyd. And I really hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.